welcome back to my channel and if you are new here i am elena i make a lot of lifestyle content home decor life hacks etc etc feel free to check out my channel today i'm actually back with a home decor video for fall i know all of us it's october now all of us are decorating for fall uh, we have october november ahead of us before we start thinking about christmas but today I wanted to share with you guys some non-tacky ways, non-cheesy ways to decorate for fall. I think we've all seen the Hello Fall pillows at Home Goods and Target, the orange pumpkins, all of the typical things that we see around this time of year. Uh, but my personal style has evolved. I've definitely been guilty of purchasing all of that. And today I wanted to share with you six, that's four, six tips with you guys um, in terms of how to decorate for fall with that being too te cheesy and keeping it kind of still classy, elegant, and not too in your face. Now keep in mind, this is all my personal opinion. I've definitely been guilty of buying the Hello Fall pillows and the orange pumpkins, and you know, these are just the examples that are coming on the top of my head, but all of the cheesy fall decor things. But never say never, uh, there might be a time in my life where I go back to that, but this is currently the phase that I'm in the home decor phase that I'm in, and I hope you enjoy this video and take something away from it. At the end of the video, I'm gonna be sharing probably the biggest tip of all, which kind of summarizes all of this. So I hope you stay tuned until the end, and let's get into it. The first tip I'm gonna share with you actually goes to that throw pillow option. You know, instead of opting for a Hello Fall pillow or something that has, you know, pumpkins drawn or printed on it, uh, or anything of the sort like that, you can opt for pillows that are fall colors like a deep green color or like a burnt orange or mustard but instead of having like a pumpkin sewn or printed on it um you can have it just be a textured pillow something that's maybe either woven or maybe a linen texture uh, i personally opted for a leather texture for my personal uh couch this year and it is this beautiful cognac brown pillow it's got linen on one side and then leather on the other side and it is just beautiful. Colors like this brown or like the forest greens, burnt oranges, maroons, etc. They bring any living space into more of that fall vibe, fall aesthetic. And I think would be a really great addition to your space as well without looking too cheesy. My second tip is to fill your house with more greenery in the fall time. I know in the summertime we love to do flowers, hydrangeas, all the jazz. But in the fall time, because you know typically flowers don't bloom in the fall time, uh, I know a lot of people do moms, but if you're doing something inside, this past year I have been loving vases just filled with eucalyptus and nothing else and just having them dry out and just stay there in your vase for months, I think could look really beautiful. And again, it incorporates that darker green color into your home. Um, I think greenery, for the longest time, I haven't had plants in my house, but just recently I started to add more of them into my home. And I think it's really transformed the space. So I would highly recommend adding greenery like that in your home if you don't already have plants. And I only have like a handful of plants at this point. I'm not even that crazy yet, but I love filling my vases around the home with greenery like eucalyptus and the vase behind me currently um, over there is empty but I am actually in the process of drying out some sunflowers I bought at Trader Joe's the other day so I want to fill that there. Um, I just wasn't ready for today for filming uh, but I, the plan is to add some dried flowers um, so mixed with some eucalyptus in as well and just have that be my um, decor. Tip number three, actually, I'm gonna say something and I think this is beautiful, but I think it's overdone and I hope nobody gets offended. I mean, I hope nobody gets offended over this entire video because it's all my own personal opinion and my taste, but I would forego the pampas grass. I know it is huge in the fall time especially and it's been huge in the past year or two, but I think it's a little overdone and I think it gets really messy too. So instead of pampas grass, I encourage you to look into bunny tails. I personally love it. I think it's a little different. It's, you know, everybody has pampas grass in their house nowadays. But bunny tails are a little harder to come by. I know I purchased buttons from Joann's. You can find them on Etsy, on Amazon, wherever. Uh, but I would really encourage you to look into bunny tails and you know, mix them in with your eucalyptus in your vases and whatnot. I think it could be a really cute fall touch in your home without being the overdone pompous, which is fine if that's what you prefer, but just a tip there. <laughs> My fourth tip is to make your decor the feeling of being a cozier home. Meaning, just 
things that make your home feel more cozy, whether it's adding more throw pillows or more throw blankets, I think are fantastic. Uh, putting up more candles around your home and just, you know, having some dimmable light, just something that makes a house feel a little cozier and warm and just something you want to snuggle up to. I think just that feeling alone always makes you feel like, okay, fall, winter is here and I'm just excited to hibernate. Speaking of candles, tip number five is actually to hide your bright orange candles. I know all the pumpkin candles always are bright orange and I don't understand it. I hate it personally. If you love that color, great. But if you're like me and you hate the color orange, which I think maybe like half the population does, um, hide it in another vessel that fits more aesthetically in my home. It fits my color scheme in my home and I'll just hide it. But I still get to enjoy the beautiful pumpkin scent. Now, I think all of these five tips can actually be summarized by this sixth tip. I think when we think of fall, we think of orange. So we do orange this, that, and the other, everything, orange, blah, blah, blah. But I would encourage you to use more autumn colors that we have here. I mentioned the forest green already with the eucalyptus, the brown with the leather pillow that I purchased myself. You can also incorporate colors like mustard yellow, I think is beautiful in the fall time. And if you pair it with like a dark, deep purple or maroon, I think it would look so beautiful as well. Red maroon color as well. Uh, just incorporating more of those color schemes into your home decor rather than just making everything orange in your home or some sort of version of orange. Uh, maybe consider burnt orange instead of just like orange. But if you're looking to keep it more neutral of a color palette like I am personally, I love using just different shades of neutrals, different shades of browns, different shades of nudes whites, etc., and just keeping everything a little bit more cozier. Um, maybe having some extra throw blankets, some, you know, some textured pillows would be really fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I found these tips helpful in elevating your fall home decor style. I just want to reiterate, this was in no way meant to offend anybody. Um, we all have different styles, you know, and there's somebody out there who hates my style, which is fine by me. But if you're kind of the person that I am and you're not huge into fall, but you still want to do a little something for fall, then I think these tips are great for you to keep things muted, um, a little less tacky, less cheesy, but still bring that fall vibe and aesthetic into your home in little ways. If you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this sort of lifestyle content, feel free to check out my Instagram as well, where I share a little bit more of my home decor, some home hacks and just general lifestyle tips and whatnot. Uh, feel free to check it out and give me a follow there and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.